Hey guys, I'm Carol and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Uh, so today is the day three of uh, the Vlogmas series. I know I'm posting this video a bit late because I was uh, caught up with some work. So today uh, this video is going to be a quick Q&A of the questions you had asked like long back. I had uh, put this uh, question tag on Instagram. I think uh, I had to answer these questions five months back but I was not able to do it because I never got the time to shoot a video. But I thought why not include it uh, in this Vlogmas series itself. So here are the questions so I'll answer it one by one. Uh, so let's begin with the questions. The first question is what do you want to become in the future? So this question, I don't know what to say really because uh, I've not yet planned what I want to become in future. As of now, my plans are to work for like two years in a corporate and then maybe uh, do my MBA. That's my plan. And let's see what's going to happen. And uh, someone asked, what am I studying? I'm done with my uh, BBA. So officially a BBA graduate. So someone asked, hello Alisha, how is your online classes going on? I put a question tag on Instagram asking you to ask me questions uh, long back. So that's when I was having my online classes, but still I'll give the answer right now. So online classes, you know how it is, right? Who listens to online classes? We just keep the phone on and then uh, do our own work or something. And then it was uh, a bit difficult because we had uh, online classes and we had offline exams. So that was a bit difficult. But then, yeah, we somehow managed. Uh, we learned through YouTube videos and stuff and then finally cleared all the exams. <laughs> That's more important. Someone has asked me to do a uh, what's in my bag segment. Uh, I've kind of planned it. Uh, let's see when I'm able to shoot it. Maybe I'll include it in the series as well. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I can definitely do that. Okay, someone asks, uh, what is my favorite web series? I like the series You. My second favorite is Behind Her Eyes. That's the two top uh, favorite series I can say. So someone asked for tips for dry skin problems. So use a good moisturizer, keep your skin hydrated, drink water regularly, like drink lots and lots of water. That's very important, like keeping yourself hydrated, eat a lot of fruits. You basically use products which has hyaluronic acid in it. If you want like tips, then maybe uh, as you wake up in the morning, uh, rub an ice cube on your face and uh, even before you go to bed or before applying any makeup or something, that you won't feel your skin is that dry. So try that out. I've told uh, this tip in a lot of Q&As, I guess. I think I've told uh, this tip in the previous Q&A as well. Okay, someone asked, are you planning to do modeling? No, not at all. I'm not interested in that field at all. I just don't think I will do that anytime. What's your favorite shade of lipstick? So my favorite shade is uh, the MAC Retro Matte. The shade name is Dance With Me. It's a liquid lipstick. I like that shade. It's a little bit expensive, but it's worth buying. Like it lasts you for more than a year, I guess. It, it can last you easily for a year. So it's worth the price. So someone asked, what is the first thing you would do after getting 100K subscribers? First of all, I don't know if I will be able to reach that many subscribers. But if I do, I don't know, I'll be the happiest person ever. I don't know how I would react to that. Let's see. Okay, so this is my one of my uh, friend, childhood friend, I can say. She asked me, tell about your school memories, uh, especially she's asked me to share uh, memories of auto rickshaw. See the auto rickshaw memory. So I'll share a story with you, a quick story. The girl who's asked me this question, she and me, we were in the same uh, auto rickshaw. So we used to go in that auto rickshaw for quite a long time, like for years we have been in that auto rickshaw. So whenever uh, the rickshaw is to be full, right? Like the school trip wala rickshaw, okay? So whenever it's full, uh, what the rickshaw driver or the uncle, he used to uh, make us sit uh, behind, like uh, behind uh, the auto, like as in, Inside the auto, but behind, like wherever uh, the gas or whatever is there, na, on that, like it would uh, that part used to be so hot, uh, and there used to be no space. I don't know how we managed to fit in there, like two of us. Like she used to sit in one side, and I used to sit in one side, like crossing our legs over each other, and it used to be so much fun. Okay, that's uh, one memory that I can never forget. And yeah, we used to be uh, have so much fun. We used to climb on that uh, rickshaw seat, and then we used to sit there. Like he used to make us sit there, like. And we used to enjoy it as well because he knew us from quite a long time and if there's someone new coming we make them sit in the seating part and then we go and sit there if the auto is full so that's about the auto rickshaw memory from my childhood so someone asked make a video on your day and night skincare routine so my skincare routine keeps changing so i am planning to like properly do a skincare routine because nowadays what happens is i get a lot of products right so i keep testing out and trying out different products as of now i don't have a particular skincare routine let me like find a proper skincare routine which suits me and then maybe I will share the video with you guys. I have done a skincare routine video before, I think so. You can check it out on my Instagram reels or something. But a proper dedicated uh, nighttime and daytime skincare routine. Maybe if I can, I'll share it in the series. Okay. So in between there are stupid questions also. Why is the sky so blue? Had lunch and stuff like that. 
and people like saying you're beautiful all that stuff that's not really question so i'm not going to answer that in this uh, video so someone told i like you and your style so thank you so much and someone asked how are you i'm fine how are you the next question is what do you do to kill time so i watch netflix or maybe do some painting art or something like that but the thing is i don't get bored because i have a lot of work to do a lot of product reviews to do and stuffs like that so it gets a lot uh, hectic and there's really literally no time for me i wish the days were long like more than 24 hours so i was able to complete my work so who's your favorite celebrity i don't think i have any favorite celebrity mm, not sure someone asked coffee or tea i like tea i like black tea i can't drink tea with milk okay sorry for people who like chai like the tea with milk i'm not that kind of a person i used to drink that before but now i don't know why i just don't like it i used to drink green tea before and now i stopped drinking green tea now i drink black tea but in case if i go out i actually order coffee instead of tea if i had to choose one in coffee and tea i would definitely go for coffee but uh, i don't drink coffee every day because it's uh, it causes a lot of heat to the body and then i don't want breakouts on my face and stuff like that so i drink tea so that's about that so the next question is how do you deal with fake friends by the way love you okay so dealing with fake friends first of all you need to be very emotionally strong i know a lot of people who are uh, not emotionally strong but i am someone who's emotionally very strong and i can deal with any situation i do understand uh, when a friend when a particular friend or a person is trying to fake themselves like being very close to you and end of the day you come to know no there is some other intention i can understand the person in like one or two minutes i can understand if the person is genuine or no and uh, if the person is not genuine i try to be a little far away from them that's how i deal with uh, people just be yourself like don't pretend to be someone else so if you don't like someone just tell them don't tell them that you don't like them or something like that but tell them thing that you don't like about them maybe if they are able to improve that they can definitely do that if something is like bothering you but don't try to like change your friend to someone else like don't make your friend turn to yourself like don't make them behave like you and stuff like that that's not right you do understand when some friends are fake and some people don't understand fake friends i am close to people but if a day comes when you know they just uh, turn out to be fake i think i'm able to deal with that because i'm not that emotional and yeah i'm very strong in that way so i think i i'm able to deal with that easily so that's how i deal with fake friends so if you are someone who's like a emotional kind of person so what you can do is don't cry over it and stuff like that because it's of no use you're not going to get a friend that you've lost and maybe you came to know that the person is fake before something worse could happen so be thankful and just let it go you will find a lot of friends in future so don't consider anyone like so important in your life trust me love yourself first if you love yourself then you can actually trust or love someone so it's actually simple but for people who are a little emotionally weak i think it's a bit difficult for them but as you go about you will learn how to deal with people so next question is have you and your friend like the same guy i don't think we like the same guy or something like that so no never happened with me how much do you earn from youtube i don't really earn from youtube as such but i do earn if i do a youtube video for any brands so they pay me like i won't tell you the exact amount they pay and stuff like that but yeah they pay a good amount so basically youtube itself i don't get payment because i've not uh, reached that uh, criteria yet for monetization i was so close for monetization the last year i was so 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 close for the monetization like i had literally completed 4000 hours of watch time and anyway 1000 subscribers so i already had see in order to reach the threshold you need like 4000 watch hours in one year and you need uh, 1000 subscribers 1000 subscribers i had but 4000 hours of watch time i was like so so close and then in between i don't know what happened in between there were exams and stuff like that and it was my final year so i didn't concentrate much on youtube i was doing a lot of insta content and now i think i've become a little more active in youtube so when i had stopped making videos uh, so i'd lost touch and uh, because of that all my watch hours have come to like 500 600 hours so unless i reach that threshold i won't get paid from youtube so that's about that but i do get paid uh, from brands if i make a uh, one video for them they uh, some brands pay for each product now they send me products they pay for each product a certain amount of rupees so uh, if they send me four products uh, they will pay four times the amount like that i anyway get the products for free but i also get paid for 
the video also so i'll uh, stop the q a for now and i'll uh, share the part two of it in the next video because the video is already too long and i don't want to make it that long so that's it for today's video guys if you like this video please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to my channel and also follow me on my instagram at carol double underscore alicia and i'll see you guys in my next video until then bye bye